Good morning. <clears throat> it is 6.46 a.m. on Friday, February 12th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, before I get into the rest of my thoughts, I will just uh, give you a, one little bit of uh, Christiana trivia. Um, when my mind is completely blank and I'm forced to just think of a word, any word, the most common word that I come up with is boogers. Yes. Uh, this has been pretty consistent for most of my life. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I'm feeling a little better today uh, in terms of the sleep deprivation scale. I went to bed early last night. Funny how that makes a difference. And uh, yeah, feeling better. Although I think Luna was a little confused by how early I went to bed uh, because it resulted in her waking up at 4 a.m. and thinking, well, this must have been enough sleeping, right? Let's get up. Uh, fortunately... When I need to, unless it's an emergency, I can put my foot down. And this was one of those cases where, uh, you know, her urging me to get up was limited to soft whining rather than any kind of urgency. So I, uh, I was able to just say, mm, not yet, not yet. So, uh, last night I, you know, um, I played a little bit more of the witness. I'm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with The Witness, unfortunately. Uh, like, I've really loved it most of the way through, but big part of what was nice about it is that there was just so many different puzzles available to choose from that, uh, you know, anytime you're feeling frustrated or get stuck on one, it's like, oh, well, okay, I guess I'll just go work on this other one for a while. And then sometimes when you come back to the one you were stuck on, it's like, oh, well, now I get it. And sometimes you'll even find out it's like, oh, I see. There was some rule for how to solve this one that I didn't know. And you'll discover that rule. Um, some other set of puzzles will teach it to you. And that was a really nice progression because I never really felt too stuck. But unfortunately, as I am making more progress in the game... I've done a lot of the puzzles, and so there are fewer of them left available to solve. Um, there's one in particular that I know is gating my progress to the end game portion. Um, and uh, then there's a couple of other miscellaneous ones that I could do. And then there's sort of a higher level set of puzzles that I don't know if, if they actually do progress for anything or if it's just... Uh, uh, you know, bonus. But the problem is just the number of puzzles available to me now, and in particular the specific ones that I want to do because I know that's what I need in order to progress. It Basically, I've done all the ones that I could figure out, and now I'm left with the ones that I can't figure out, and it's more frustrating this way. You know, it's like before, sit down for an hour and I might get stuck on one or two for a little bit, but, you know, over the course of an hour, I might solve, you know, you know, a couple dozen puzzles, right? Now, I'll sit down for an hour and not solve any, and that's more frustrating, you know, to, to go a whole play session and not actually make any real progress. So, I'm not saying I'm giving up on the game, but I have felt the temptation I felt the temptation to try to look up some hints, and I haven't done so yet. But there's a couple where there's just, like, I'm sure that there's just some trick to it that I'm missing. And it's driving me buggy, and I'm kind of frustrated with it. So, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I also just played a little bit of uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer on the PlayStation Vita, which is now available for both Vita and PlayStation 4. That game is super fun. I think I've talked about it on these videos before, but it's just, it's sort of a roguelike dungeon crawler sort of thing, except that it's a rhythm game too, and you have to move to the beat, and it's got great music, and you fight monsters, and it's very replayable. So I like that one too. Um... What else? Oh, so tonight I'm going to try to go see a main stage improv show at uh, Improv Boston. And uh, part of that is because I have to see two of them in order to complete the uh, 601 class that I'm in right now. Um, 
but uh, also because they're fun. So um, that's on the agenda for tonight. And, uh, you know, other than that, I'm, you know, moving forward into my day. Giant mug of tea, TM. Talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>